basically, um, I'm, my job, I guess they told me, is to give the overview. And the first thing that you should realize is this is an opportunity for you to reinvent yourself. This is an opportunity for you to move to the whole next level. Seriously ask yourself, what can I do with the doctorate? What will it do for me? For some of you, you want to teach at the college level. Some of you see yourself moving into administration in the school level. Um, some of you want to do consulting, set up a consulting company. The world is open to you. My philosophy, and I think it's also shared by Dr. Zeger and Dr. Schamberg, is to diversify, meaning if you have a bachelor's degree in one field and you really feel grounded in it, you say, I know my stuff, I'm pretty good in this. Uh, mine happened to be business education. I went to Hunter College. And when I was looking for a master's degree, I thought, hmm, do I really want to get another degree in advanced methods of teaching typing? No. So I said, what will help me earn a living? So I said, curriculum development. There's always a market for curriculum developers. So I got my master's in curriculum development. So again, when you get your bachelor's, you say, hmm, I can do this. Then when you get your master's, you go, hmm, I can do this or this. And now when you get your doctorate, now you have a world of choices open to you. So um, I went and got my doctorate in teaching technology to adult learners because I knew that that's the area I wanted to be in. And also when Dr. Schamberg and Dr. Zeger speak, you're going to hear that they also diversified. They didn't just get their degree all in one field because you become more marketable. All right, so that's, that's one of my philosophies. Um, the doctorate will be like nothing you've ever done before. So if you're sitting there going, hmm, the master's was a piece of cake, I can do this, nah, not so much. This is a very, very rigorous program. It's going to require a rethink on your part. Uh, we want people who have what we call vision and scope. Vision, meaning you're able to see into the future, but also scope, so that you're able to see how everything around you integrates. So that's really our purpose, vision and scope. You are going to be the leaders, the people who move things forward. Um, when you get your doctorate, you will still be the same wonderful person you are today. The thing is, people will see you as smarter. So that piece of paper will not change the great person you are, but people go, oh, Dr. DeAndrea, oh, Dr. Farber. And you're like, first couple of weeks, you'll look around going, is that, is that me? You feel like you pulled a hoax off on people. But after a while, it really sinks into your skin, and you really say, that's me. I worked on hard. We have certain rules. Those of you who have gotten your master's know the rules. You must, must come to graduation. We know where you live. We will get you. Uh, the, for a doctorate, it's different from a master's because in the doctoral part of graduation, you get hooded, and that is so cool. That is really a wonderful thing. We tell everybody when they start the program, plan your graduation party and work backwards. Say, okay, I'm going to graduate in the year, three years from now, and here's my doctoral party. When people say, what gifts can I give you, don't say, oh, nothing. You know, gift cards, money, everything's good. So plan your doctoral party and work backwards. And I mean this um, with all humor. Uh, think about your own undergraduate and maybe master's experience. Some of your professors were wonderful. Some of your professors, meh. I would proofread all of my friends' dissertations back in the day when you had the very old computer. And we would all proofread each other's dissertations. But I got waylaid, and I started doing a lot of consulting. So my friends, they were finishing, and I wasn't. And I loved my friends, but I realized bigger idiots than I had gotten their doctorate. And that's really what it's all about. Think of some professor that you had, and you said, I could do that. Sure you can do it. It's plotting. It's all about following the rules, plotting through, taking the courses, and you will do fine. What do we always say in ed tech? It ain't brain surgery. We're not finding the cure for cancer. If you plod through and use your life experiences, be imaginative. This is the place to try new things. This is the place, there is no right or wrong in a doctoral program in the sense that you want to try something innovative, you want to try something that hasn't been done before, go for it. Because you're going to find that the professors behind you are going to go, yeah, go, try it. That's what we're all about, innovation and trying new things. So we're so delighted. I hope that 
All of you at the various tables have gotten to know each other because you could be in the first cohort. We're using the cohort approach because starting together and going through the program together ensures success. It really, really does. It's sort of like Weight Watchers with a doctoral degree at the end. Um, because you have other people when you get down in the dumps and you say, oh, I'm gonna qu I can't do it. I, 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 the people in your cohort will say, come on, you can do it, we'll help you. And, and the success ratio of cohort approaches over independent study is, is very, very different. When Dr. Zeger talks about the Summer Institute, we lay out the whole year for you. This is not like a master's where your courses are chop, 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 chop. We want you, when you come to the Summer Institute, to see a panorama, to see your whole year laid out, to think about the projects, and to do a long-term action plan for that year. So there are no secrets, nothing is hidden, everything is out there.